This vehicle is a 2014 GMC Sierra and it's uh, being started cold so we can see our static pressure right now a little bit above uh, 70 uh, PSI on both the high side and the low side. Uh, this is Professor Scott Norman from Pittsburgh State University and this is another uh, automotive educational video on uh, AC gauge analysis. So the vehicle was just started right there and looks like the AC is turning on. This is a, a TXV system with a variable displacement compressor. Uh, the vehicle uh, is uh, started cold and it's uh, warming up, and so we're going to watch the uh, watch the gauge readings for a little bit. Uh, the way that I use these videos is I um, I use them in the classroom where I show the students the videos. Here, uh, real quick, uh, we saw the. Um, the, um, the high side gauge go up to 200 PSI and then the electric fan came on. And then when the electric fan came on, uh, we can see now that the pressures are, um, are dropping down. But anyway, um, I'm, I'm, I'm using these uh, videos in the classroom. So I'm teaching the students how to analyze the gauge readings and determining uh, what the possible problems could be with the gauge readings are shown, uh, what they are. And so um, I do this with the, with the audio off so we can kind of talk through uh, as a group um, what do we think the problem is. And so if, if you want to try this approach, uh, I recommend turning off the audio so you're not listening to my voice and so you're not uh, uh, hearing the answers before all the students are able to uh, maybe think through this uh, process. So um, as the uh, vehicle is warming up, what we're noticing is that um, uh, it is cooling perfectly fine. You know, it's blowing out uh, 48 degree air, which which isn't the best. I like around 40 degree air being blown out, but um, but but 48 degree air being blown out at a ambient temperature of 71 degrees uh, in the shop will pass the performance test. So the students typically will look at this uh, vehicle and they'll say, well, everything is appearing normal. It's blowing cold air. Uh, oh, oh, okay, right now I just turned off the, um, the AC system. And the thing to notice about that is that it's a TXV system and it equalizes very quickly. So I, I didn't count how many seconds that was, but that was maybe 10 seconds or 20 seconds before the system equalized. And a TXV system should equalize um, uh, oh, uh, anywhere from five minutes to 30 minutes, let's say. So, so, so right away, that's an indicator of a problem. Uh, even though it's blown cold air, even though there's no, no possible, uh, no situation to look at, the gauge readings are looking normal, right away you're seeing, ooh, there's an issue. So I tell the students that, you know, you should do an equalization test. Anytime the, the vehicle is um, running, the AC is on, um, the gauges are hooked up, you need to be looking at your AC pressures and, and when they're off, seeing what they equalize. And so this was a, a fairly easy test, and, and, but the problem is that, that many technicians would not notice that equalization time. Um, and so again, uh, if, if they don't do that, then everything appears normal, you know? Um, the low side gauge reading is between 20 to 40, so that looks normal. Right now my high side gauge is at 175 and everything appears normal. So the problem with this vehicle is the TXV is stuck open. And again, that's obvious by looking at that equalization time. And depending upon the environmental conditions on the vehicle, there may not necessarily be a problem because the TXV is open during those environmental conditions. And so if it happens to be open at the exact spot that is needed for those environmental conditions, then you don't necessarily notice a problem. So now it's been 20 minutes, so um, the vehicle is now at full operating temperature. And at full operating temperature, the, um, the gauge readings are starting to look a little odd. Uh, low side is above 40 PSI, uh, which is a little bit high. And the, um, and, and the high side gauge is reading uh, fairly normal. But now the vehicle is blowing out 59 degree air, which, 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 is, which is not very good for a 71, 72 degree day in the shop. And so since there's a variable displacement compressor, you need to look at the variable displacement compressor. And right now the, the compressor is at 100% duty cycle. So at 100% duty cycle, uh, low side pressure is too high. And that's really the, the key there. If, if the variable displacement compressor was maybe at, um, I don't know, 60%, I would say, well, hey, that could be a normal gauge reading, but, but it's not. And so, um, and again, we just turned off the AC system again, and we're watching the equalization. 
and the equalization happens way too fast. So again, this is the TXV that is stuck open, which is uh, causing uh, AC not to blow cold air on certain circumstances, pretty much when the, um, when the vehicle is folding warm or if there's a higher heat load on the vehicle. This is Professor Scott Norman. I uh, hope, hopefully you enjoyed the, the video uh, and, uh, and um, have a good day.